Welcome everyone to 7 Minutes or Less, talking about the shows you love and want to get into. Today we will be talking about Outlander Season 1. This is the second part to the series as Season 1 was broken up into two parts. Season 1, Part B, consists of eight episodes, which the season as it started starts to bring the story elements together. There isn't much plot that I can get into without spoiling crucial details because we are in the biggest part within this season. While keeping its slow burn pace, things get more and more intense and progressive with each episode that passes by. Realizing this, the details that of which was placed in the beginning start to come full circle in this second half. There is a trial where Claire is accused of being a witch along with Galus Duncan. Jamie's story gets more of a push in the second half where he wishes to return home even though he's a wanted man. Black Jack Randall himself gets more screen time, not just in present circumstances, but also in flashbacks where you see key pivotal scenes where he has left his mark on the lives he torments and the people around him. Jamie gets more of a shout out in this second half of the season as he grows more as a character. He has a very big crucial moment in the beginning of the second half where he makes a decision that shapes him who he is as a person. Jamie becomes not only likable as a person, but becomes a more fleshed out person who isn't just a character to coddle or comfort Claire. Speaking of Claire, she too has big crucial scenes that affect her as things get emotionally deep throughout the episodes. Claire goes through a lot more than just trying to get back home and trialed as a witch. She adapts more to the situations around her, expanding upon the mystery as to why she is there, has this happened to anyone else, and what exactly is her purpose in all this? When she accepts where she is, you see her determination to keep the people she loves together. Claire also finds out who else has personal stake while the journey unfolds, leading to some emotional revelations. A character, Murta, who has mostly been in the background in the first half of the season, gets more screen time in the second and helps Claire within the situations. Considering how quiet Murta was in the first half, it would be easy to forget him. But he makes up for it by proving useful in Claire's quests and endeavors. Plot details aside, we have to talk about the elements within the second half of the season. Things get... dark. And I don't mean that lightly. When I say dark, we travel into unspeakable actions caused by one man who has a selfish desire, a haunting desire, and a disgusting one at that. Black Jack Randall will be a character either you will despise wholeheartedly where you love to hate him and can comment on how mature the writing is for that fact. Cause let's face it, the finale of this show is brutal, savage even, and it pulls no punches. When I say that I have to express the fact that no detail goes unnoticed, it's there in your face. And while I cannot account for your emotions when you watch it, I can tell you that there were moments I was sick to my stomach. This is the second time I've watched this show. The first time I actually had to fast forward through some scenes because I simply could not watch it. And I'm pretty okay with the brutal nature of shows pushing the envelope these days. The finale pushed the limits to my eyes watching and my brain processing. The writing in this show is beyond what we deserve. This is simply a masterpiece where the emotions are taken into account, moments are explored, and the details, which feels unnecessary, plays its part not in shock value, but in character beats where you feel the pain and torture of these characters, struggling to see light in their circumstances. I simply cannot believe what I have seen, but I I can't help but praise it for keeping the material focused on the emotion, the brutality, and realism without it feeling completely unnecessary. It's, it's hard to explain. Because for the sake of argument, there are going to be plenty of you out there who have personal and deep feelings toward the topics within this show. Some will simply not tolerate it, and no matter how it's presented, how it's told, or how it's made, it can be taken as just an opportunity for shock value, but if you look deeply it really isn't. There is an equal balance within these episodes where they go from emotional to shocking to mature and mindful. Dare I say, they even add funny moments to keep things relatively light so there isn't total doom and gloom, but it's not harsh or insensitive. I could go on for hours justifying what I saw and try to warn you about it. In the end, it's up to you. Just know 
how important it is when you get to the finale and how crucial and intense everything will be. It's because of this finale, I believe it will test the people in wanting to watch the next chapter in Claire and Jamie's adventure. For that, I can give this season the highest rating I can for being bold, against the grind, mature, without the prospects of shock value, as it keeps its emotional core making everything relevant. If I do, you guys and gals have to understand that this season may not be the same way for you. If it's not the pacing that'll get you, it's its raw, uncompromising nature of the story that will get you. But for that, I'm gonna give Outlander Season 1 an A goddamn plus. Just keep in mind, it may not be for you, but despite my standards of rich and bold storytelling, this may be your cup of tea just the same. All right, guys and gals, thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in seeing Outlander and found my review interesting enough or informative enough, give me a like, maybe a share, and if you would be so gracious to helping me out, subbing would make all the difference. If you're new to my channel, check out what I do. I create all sorts of stuff from TV shows and movie reviews and both of them that come together and set up a universe. Your support means everything to me, and just by that alone, I'll get you more reviews in the future.